Go now. Oh, so tired. <laughs> it's a fun day, very tiring. Um, it's always nice to hang out with friends that I've made from doing satanic flea market. Um, it wasn't super busy, I mean, it's always busy, but um. Obviously, I didn't make as much as the Christmas one because people aren't buying gifts and stuff. The last one was the Christmas one, and it's always super busy. Like, you know, people are queuing up for an hour or more around the block to get in. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it wasn't as busy. Um, I did okay. Um, I may have, um, you know made my money back and made a bit of profit but um yeah <laughs> thanks to everybody that came and said hello um it's always nice to see people in real life <laughs> um and yeah i'm really exhausted so i'm gonna have a shower and then probably just getting to bed. Um, there was a after party tonight but I was just, I was just so tired and I didn't want to, you know, I just did the tour last month and I'm still sort of kind of getting over that so um, even though we didn't do that many gigs I'm not <laughs> I, my constitution isn't great for uh, and lots of peopling and travelling and staying in hotels and getting up early and that sort of thing. Um, so I always wanted to ask me something. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, Yeah, there was supposed to be an after party tonight with bands. Um, yeah, I was just too tired, too tired to go. Um, which is a shame, but, you know, I've got to think about my my health first, really. <laughs> it's hard enough doing, um, you know, six hours standing up 
do in a stall. Um, but um, if the gig goes well tonight, um, Taka, my friend, I think he's running it with James, who's part of the Satanic Flea Market. Um, uh, then they want um, my band Pussycat and the Dirty Johnsons to um, play the one in October, the Halloween one. So <laughs> although it might kill me, it probably will. I'll probably be a corpse by the time I'm on stage. But it would be really fun to do. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to have a shower. I'll leave just cut my hair. This is going to be... I didn't have time this morning, but... It's much neater now and shorter. But yeah, I'm going to go get ready for bed. It's not even that late. But it's like 10 o'clock or something, but it feels like it feels like it's 2 o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go rest the rest of the evening. And um, I'll see you when um, I'm doing something interesting. <laughs> Hopefully I am. <laughs> so good um, Al and Sarah were really really funny and uh, it was an, an hour show and um, yeah, they asked the, this woman some questions and about her life and then they based the whole show on her, on her um, what was going on in her life at the moment and um, I think it was kind of mortifying for her but hilarious at the same time <laughs> she took it very well but yeah, you should definitely, um, it's like surrealist, completely improvised um, uh, show. Um, yeah, you should go and check it out um, if you can make it. It's at the Museum of Comedy, which I've never been there before, which they got loads of film memorabilia all over the place, and Tommy Cooper, and um, yeah, just... Lots of crazy stuff there. So, yeah, it's a really good night. And um, then we ended up in the the Phoenix Bar, which is a lot different to how I remember when I went there 20 or so years ago. It's a bit more... Um, it's very loud. <laughs> um, it used to look more just like, more like a pub. Now it's like... I don't know, they nightclubbed it up a bit. So, but, uh, just funny because everyone there was just trying to have a conversation but um it, like shouting over the music and there was no one dancing so i don't know why why the music was so loud but um yeah it's a really good night nice nice to see al and sai 
and um, hang out with Taka. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have some leftover curry now. I'm starving, so I'll catch you later. Oh, he bought this weird bunny. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> Potato. Banchets. Oh, by the way, I look like a potato today because um, Ants is picking me up in a minute and we're going to go and um, uh, demold our um, rehearsal room carpet because it's got a bit damp in there so it's going to be, be gross. So, yeah. This is me today. <laughs> Let's have a look at the new band shirts. Exactly how I wanted to turn it. Yeah, let me take this box down. Uh, it's not really showing it, it's coming up like. Try a light. No, the camera just doesn't want to pick it up. It's really brightly coloured. I'll try and um, get it closer when I edit the video. But yeah, really happy with these. You can get them from the dirtyjohnsons.com. Put a link there. All these ones have been pre-ordered, so thank you if you if you pre-ordered one. They'll be on their way to you. Just gonna give them to Jake. And then he'll send them out to you. Right, got gloves. Got oh mask. Um, yeah. Update on my tomatoes. I'm doing really well. Some peppers there. More tomatoes, some courgettes, I'm trying to germinate, there's some onions but I don't think they're going to do anything. I planted these pepper plants from last year out yesterday because I thought it's been quite mild but um, this one suffered a little bit yesterday but it seems to be bouncing back 
This one's a Romano pepper. Grealous pepper indoors. It's like <laughs> ridiculous. Um, this one's the pepper dew. Yeah. Cross fingers, they make it. And we get some nice peppers. I'll be planting the tomatoes in here probably next month or maybe at the end of the month. Uh, we'll see. We'll sit on the case. I normally sit over here, so I might as well. It's cool. Yeah, it's history. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah it stick it on the wall, wall yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. It's sort of. I believe it. As soon as I do that, it's going to. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh. It is. This floor definitely got a slope on it now we're stood in here. It feels like yeah. it, doesn't it? Come on. Yeah, mate. I've done. Roll a penny. Hey, you got the grass on it. Get marble. I don't want to lose that again, mate. <laughs> 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 this is a really tough old carpet. Mm. It's old Hessian back carpet. I'll step on that bit. Yeah, step on that bit so you can tear it a bit. Oh, Jesus. You're too light. <laughs> you are. That's like with a new blade, so. Jesus Christ. Mm. Well, renowned world skateboarding championships, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that being get little sections like that. Well, actually, maybe that's the way to do it then. Oh, they're not much bigger, aren't they? No, it's really stiff. You can roll them up into them. Things then, can't they, in Really stiff. Stiff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the old fashioned stuff, isn't it? Nice to go around that bit. Mate. Thing rubber. is, that's that's self adhesive backed lead lined foam, so I might just have to cut around it. Soaking this bit. Which way? The no, I'm going to roll it. What way are you going to roll it, mate? <laughs> I'm going to fold round. There's a fold in the middle there. Oh. Take them off and throw them up there. There's some sort of indicator of what's going on. Well, there's a lot of stuff in there that's got going with it. Well, there's a lot of stuff in my mum's set down too, you see. Um, um, which I thought when I set it to you, oh, you got your stuff down a tip, mum. I'll take your stuff down a tip for you. Very good, son. Not too far to push this. Bring the van down. Bring the van down. Bring the van down. Come on, seven, I'll be able to up in London. Oh, mate, you could have been there. Do what, mate? I mean, this is like I've been hating. It's just four bins. You know, you get four cars in at a time. What's this place? Fucking hell. Yeah, it's fine. Van now empty. You taking the piss? <laughs> I feel really gross. I'm gonna have a nice shower <laughs> and maybe come back looking not so much like a potato okay i lied i'm still a potato i'm a clean potato but a very tired potato so i'm probably just gonna do some work and then maybe do some plant repotting tomorrow uh, yes, very tired. <laughs> oh, my cat clock has stopped. Hello, let me get my cot. So 
well I found I got some um, rechargeable C batteries which is great uh, I put these small ones in before because it was um, these double A's because I didn't have any C batteries because they're quite expensive but now I've got a little bit of money I thought I'd um, press the batteries get rechargeable ones so I can Only works if you have it flat. Hmm? I'll put it on the wall and show you. I can't be bothered to set the time properly yet, but I'll set him off. Oh, this is hot. <laughs> it's so bright in here. Oh, yeah. Look. Let me take this off. It's a little bit chilly, but <laughs> it's cute. I really love the colour. Hang on, let me stand back. Is that better? The camera's just not wanting to pick it up. Oh, there. <laughs> should come closer, but then you can't. You can't get the kind of overall effect that. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, it's so sunny outside, but and my face is so reflective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess I got that little job. Um, was kind of ongoing, maybe into May. So I bought a few little things, silly little things. But I got this really nice um, reed diffuser. I just really like the design, kind of got that um, sort of futuristic kind of 60s, 70s vibe, which I like. And it smells really good. It's amber and sandalwood. It's really, really nice. And um, if you can see over there, I've got these, um, had them for ages, these overdoor hooks, but they're really kind of ugly. But um, they're the only ones that I could find that would fit. The width of our doors because like ikea and places like that that they they only do once really thin doors so i got these from prime arnie which were like three pounds for two but they i thought they'd be quite nice on the door so yeah should i do it now I think i can move you around a bit And put them on. Oh, no. Hmm. Come with me. So they're a bit too wide and they make it difficult to close the door uh, I'm not really sure what I think about those <laughs> I'll have to live with them for a while oh well that's a shame uh, we can make this So pretty. <laughs> so, I 
so I'm just going to pull this in from here. It's so cute. Mmm, smells so nice. <laughs> this is me with my little best friend Muggy when I was really ill when I was a kid. This is me and the Olvis. And that's me and John Spencer. <laughs> Looking very sweaty after we supported the John Spencer Blues explosion, I think. Maybe in 2016? I don't know. This is my friend um, Mariko. Whenever she comes to watch us play, she always brings me like a little thing from Japan. She brought me this really cute little um, cat Lego. Oh, the tail's missing, is it? No. This is just some random skull I got from eBay ages ago. I got some other things that Mariko gave me that I haven't opened. I'll have to show you. Another time she gave me this, um, it's for like, um, is it a rice mould? I'm sure she told me that it was for like, uh, slicing radish or something like Japanese radish. But I think it's, it's a little rice mould. It's a little rice mould. It's so cute and it makes a little I think this bit in the top makes like a, uh, a soy sauce pattern on it let's <laughs> see it says um, turn soy sauce into a cute pattern there's lots of Japanese writing on it that I can't read but transform food into a cat <laughs> so cute Oh, they're always cat themed things that she brings me and she also brought me this um aluminium ice cream spoon and um, i haven't opened it yet because it's just i don't know it's just too cute and i haven't had any ice cream i don't think since she gave it to me it says the heat use the heat conductivity of aluminium to transfer heat from the hand to melt the ice cream and make it easier to pick up. It's a little um little paw. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put them back in the packaging because it's too sweet. <laughs> you ever not bring, be able to bring yourself to use things sometimes? Anywho. I'm hungry, uh, so I'm going to make some food and come back and maybe repot some things. Hopefully the sun will have stopped being so bright by then. <laughs> got about something else I bought <laughs> before I go and eat. When I was in Prime Primark, I found this really cute set of pyjamas on sale with Felix the cat well I saw them before um, you, earlier in the vlog I was wearing um, the little top I bought um, a while ago um, from the same range but it, yeah it's a pyjama top but I thought it looked really nice with jeans but um, yeah so all of, this, all of the Felix stuff was on sale so I got Got the top, it's like an oversized t shirt, and these bottoms. Gee, so cute. <laughs> oh, these are the shorts that came with the little top, but I don't know if I'll wear I might, might take them to wear at all these, but. 
I don't really wear <laughs> I don't really wear short shorts at home and get things like that because my mum kind of suck her teeth at me probably. <laughs> Hello. Just went to the shop because I remembered I wanted to try something. I got some aspirin and I've crushed it up. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything untoward because apparently, let me look this up. The use of aspirin for the salicylic acid to grow healthier tomatoes uh, has a scientific basis. Spraying or watering plants with an aspirin solution triggers their natural defence systems that fight bacteria, fungi and viruses. Also makes them stronger towards pests because... Um, let me turn it down a bit. I planted uh, my pepper plants. I think it's any 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 plant in the nightshade family, which is tomatoes and um, peppers, um, things like that. Um, I had two plants from last year, which I um, the other day I decided to plant outside. And uh, they weren't extremely happy about it, well, in the greenhouse, I planted them in the greenhouse and they weren't extremely happy about it. Um, and then I went back about an hour later and I saw one of them was covered in aphids. So I put some soap on it, left it for a while and then sprayed it off with the hose and it looked a bit better. But and I thought it's a good, I good, um, good idea to try this. So I've got a spray bottle here. And then put this in there. Anyway, got my aspirin in there. Going to put some water, and dissolve it, and then spray the plants. It's a go. Oh, <laughs> maybe this nozzle is too. quite good as planned so I thought it'd be easier just to empty it out into this watering can and get them with that. It's not much in there but hopefully it'll be enough to help them along a bit. I need to get a wider spray nozzle <laughs> for when I plant all my tomato plants out. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> We pattern time. <laughs> oh, it's lighting. <laughs> so, oh, where did I put that soil? Have some ficus blend soil from Soil Ninja. I have my ficus elastica. Ruby top cutting that's doing this weird thing with its leaves, so I think it wants to go into some soil. I think there's roots in there. This is the base that I cut it off, which is growing some new leaves. But I want to use this pot, so. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. I might have to. I'm going to see what the roots are like on this first. Yeah, let me do this. I don't like seeing the door. That's better. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. There are no roots. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. Hmm. Well, it's 
<laughs> right. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, let's skip with my plans. It's been in perlite and water for like a month or something. Uh, huh. Well, that's a bit annoying. Okay, I'm going to put that back and do a bit of research. Maybe I need to cut the surface of the um, stem back or something. I don't know. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I do have another plant I need to pot up, so at least there's that. Sad. Huh. Right, well, I guess I'll put this back up there then. <laughs> now I want to. I also, when I was in London last, I got some Calathea friend. Cal Calathea on the internet, like on the plant people I watch, they say Calathea. But then whenever I go into a shop in England, they say Calathea. So I don't know. <laughs> but this is, um, oh, what's it called? A Calathea rattlesnake. I thought it's the proper name. Uh, um, Lancifolia, <laughs> I remember, Calathea lancifolia, and the uh, Stramanthi Triostar, Triostar, again, it's pronunciation, but, yeah. but um, in the middle of this, there's a lot of um, sort of stumps where I cut back the smaller leaves, and I just kind of want to... Um, I want to plant it back in here, but if I take if I take it apart a bit, I think there'll be room for more leaves and room for more growth. Um, so it's been in here for quite a while. It'd be nice to have a bit of a refresh. There's not that much um, not that much going on in here really. Oh, these rhizomes. Is that, is that what they're called? Yeah. This is quite satisfying because there's going to be lots of them. Um, it's going to like the new soil, I hope. I'm trying to be gentle and I don't want to break any roots. I just want to... Um, Give this more. Well, I separate the three a month. I don't really need to do anything with that. So that's fine. But this one, you see, like in the middle is just lots of unused. Uh, I think I can break this up. I'm gentle. Gentle, gentle. And tease us apart. Oh, yes. Yesterday was so tiring. And then um, I said I was going to. Uh, do some work. I didn't even do that after my shower. I got into bed and started watching uh, film and I was just too tired to do anything <laughs> after all the um, heavy lifting and everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's quite fun, like hanging out with the guys and doing that. Uh, if I can remove this. See this bit? It's just bits bits that got cut off. I wonder if I could just 
remove that bit. Oh yeah. I just um for this one bit. Let's do this. Oh. Gently, gently. Hmm. Oh, I just broke off. This one isn't too, hasn't got too much gap, so I think I'll just, I'll just put that one in as it is. This one, it's got quite a big lump on here. There. There. So, I can plant all that together now. It won't have a gap in the middle with this one together. Hmm. I've got my new stream. Not that much. Right. Put in there. like that will do. Stand up. <laughs> Wish I had one of those things for scooping it properly. seems difficult today. <laughs> Hoping this doesn't have a tantrum because I really like this plant. I want it to grow nice tall big leaves. Fingers crossed, this plant is going to be happy in here and give me lots of new growth. But yeah, it's a beautiful plant. Lives in here. I'll give that a good water in a minute. Anything else to? <laughs> I'm a bit scuppered now. <laughs> oh, 
I can give you an update. my um, Rafidophora tetrasperma which I did some air layering on and it was going quite successfully because let me see I'll show you in a minute but um, it's going really well so I'm doing another one at the bottom because there's not many leaves it's not it's a bit kind of Nothing going on down here. And then I'm going to chop it in two. So I'll chop it here. So that'll be the rest of this will be one plant. And then when the roots grow here, I'm going to chop, chop it at the base and have two plants. And then I'm going to put them both together on a moss pole so it can be like a bushier plant and um because i was getting annoyed by putting out these tiny leaves these small leaves i wanted it to um mature but if there's two plants maybe it won't bother me so much if sometimes it puts out small leaves because it maybe the other one will compensate what you, you know but um yeah it put out that <laughs> another tiny leaf uh while i was away this is the um, air layering, as you can see, there's roots going crazy in there and down here, it's like it doesn't know where to go, <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to um, get it chopped and on a moss pole as soon as I see some activity going on in here uh, not so this, I only did this not so long ago so I don't I don't think there's any roots going on in there yet but yeah so I'll do that soon um, when I get some I haven't actually been paid yet but when I get my um money through i'll get a moss pole and some sphagnum moss and i've actually decided well, i chopped uh, before i showed you i chopped my um begonia maculata it's got some nice don't know if you can see roots in there and i was going to just put it put it up in soil and start it got too tall um so i chopped it but um i think i might uh i'm going to put it in semi hydro um which is like it's basically just rocks and stuff and it's in water so but this kind of plant really likes a kind of humidity and stuff so i thought It'd be a good way to I think it would like enjoy that and then it got me thinking that I should do that with my um exotica uh cuttings as well and then it got me thinking that um in my bathroom the window opens out like this and like um which is fine in the winter or the, when it's cold normally because um uh, it's textured glass so you can't see in but when it's warm and the windows open it's like people from, from the street can see straight in the bathroom and like no one wants to see my dad standing there peeing or something <laughs> Or like, you know, I'm um, taking a shower or something. It's just like, <laughs> so normally you have to close the window or put the blind right down. Um, so I thought I could put like a, 
a trough there and um, put the exotica in there along with my um, Monstera Adinsonii. So I think they look quite nice together in the bathroom. And it should grow up nice, quite bushy, so it will, um, uh, you know, stop people being able to see. Um, so I think what I'm going to do actually I'm going to remove this out of the soil. <laughs> oh no, I'm being a bit... Um, what's the word? Spontaneous. <laughs> but uh, I think I want to remove all the soil and get it started in water. So then it will transition. So then it will transition better into the semi-hydro. Have an easier time of it. Get over the shock of being in such a different um, environment. Yeah, I'm going to finish doing this and wash out the roots and then I'm going to put it in water, it's not really interesting to watch. I washed as much of the soil off as I could, so looking pretty good. I think I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to cut some of these roots off, a bit of a root prune. Me, um, just use my scissors but I'm going to disinfect them okay should we do those Okay, so I think I'm just going to put some water in here and then voila, I did keep, I did keep one just in case this dies because that would be really sad. Um, I think I saw some yellow leaves on there I might take off. Um, this pot downstairs which I thought would be a better idea so I'm going to put some super thrive in there is it making my face look weird Perfect. 
bits. Look at that. I can keep an eye on it this way as well. Make sure nothing untoward is happening. And I need to put some more water in, I think. This is pretty. I like it. Yeah, more water. don't know what else to do uh, <laughs> if I do something else today that's interesting I'll film it but I'll probably just be doing some of the um, photo editing job photo oh I know what I can show so I've been I've been working on some new things while I was in London. Lighting is terrible. So I was working on this um, little drawing. I thought I could make a sticker. I can make a, it's not finished yet, I need to do it, but I thought I could make a sticker. And um, um, it's an idea for for another um, uh, what's it called uh, enamel pen like um, like this one. So yeah, when I when I get some money, I'll start putting those into into progress. Um, Got the word into you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, if I do anything worth filming, I'll see you there. Bye.